Today I'll be installing Windows 95 on our new hard disk for the Compaq. That's right, it's a Samsung drive, so there's no telling how this will go. Windows 95 disk. It's not plugged in. Hmm. The crap USB mouse works on Windows 95. Or I guess 3.1. This is Windows, this is just a hybrid version of Windows 3.1 designed just for setup. Uh, damn, where's my mouse? Oh, I grabbed the wrong mouse. Uh, yes. Oh, where's that disc? Damn it.
Damn. Well, that didn't work. Do you know what might? The combi partner. Now, I have no clue if, it, if it's... Mm hmm. Uh, I would say I not sold gave away. Wouldn't sell a computer with two gigabit drive in it. Don't know if you've ever seen the inside of this thing before, but it's painted on the inside of that. I've always wondered why they did that. This is the power supply. Power supply was replaced in 97, along with this CD drive too. Had to uh, put a new one in in 97. Uh, 50 times CD drive. Don't know if it says the manufacture date. <clears throat> but I know the power supply here, it has 97 marked off. The board is all original. It's a 32 megabyte RAM stick in there. <clears throat> Grab my light. There's a 32 megabyte RAM stick in there. There was a five and a quarter inch floppy drive in here too, but I took that out for another project a while back. You can see in the bottom there, there's the uh, there's the unused ISA slots. Which they're only really used. This one actually has PCI on the board, if you can see that up there. Takes those old, old, old RAM sticks back there. And it also takes the newer, well even them, they're old too. And these drives right here are Seagate drives. Uh, let's see how big are they. Um, <laughs> they're only about one gigabyte drives each, so it's a one gig drive, that's a one gig drive. So there's <clears throat> two gigs of storage in this thing. I think a bad floppy drive and a possibly working CD drive. We'll find out in a minute here. Well, screw that idea. Finally got it to install on this thing using a software patch that I just downloaded, put onto this diskette. And what I did was when I installed Windows 95 on a 2.66 gigahertz processor. Look, it thinks it's Pentium Pro. <laughs> Although the hard disk this is going in, or the PC this hard disk will be going in actually does have a Pentium Pro, so that's nice. So when it setup completes, usually it says Windows protection error, you must restart your computer because it has a error of some sort. So I put this floppy disk in the drive, booted off of it after I restarted my computer, and then started Windows 95 for the first time, and it loaded, and works. Two hundred and fifty-four megs of RAM. See Windows 95B. Oh wow, it actually an NEC floppy disk apparently. That's what that is. Let me see. Floppy disk controllers. Display adapters. That's great. PCI USB. That's nice. Network adapters, dial up adapter. Oh man. PS2 mouse, even though it's not what I'm using. It's actually using a USB mouse without it knowing it. Keyboard, PCAT keyboards. 
But I guess this is pretty much an AT keyboard. It has clicky keys even though it's a USB. Oh, USB mode sucks in here. Some controllers. Let's see if we can scroll down here without dying. Uh, yep. LPT1 and COM1, which is serial, are both work. Oh, wow. It's not 4.21 a.m. It's actually... I don't even know. But the point is, it works fine. It's pretty cool. Of course, properties... Oh, damn. I only got 16 colors and 640, 640 by 480. Damn. I'm not even too sure what graphics adapter graphics adapter this thing uses. Oh no wait, it's Intel graphics. Let's see if it's on here. It's not mm. Is it Intel graphics? I don't even know. Oh, come on, you. So in my computer, there is the floppy drive. Oh. <laughs> I installed Windows 95 on the Windows NT partition. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a uh, yeah VCAM now has this error too same as my other Windows 95 computers it is a 3.99 gig drive with 3.85 gigs free and there should be a blue pie thing in there look it's fat32 that's pretty damn good and then the second hard drive is in two partitions. So this one is a three gig drive. Three gig. And, well, there is nothing used here. See, so free space, three gigabytes. Yeah. Camera's acting weird. And then this very last partition is 2.98 gigabytes. And it's, there's nothing on it either, so that's pretty much correct. F, which is my DVD-ROM drive. Thinks it's a CD-ROM, but it's a DVD rewriter, actually. Oh, damn. Doesn't have a sound driver. <laughs> it has the internet. Mm, let me see. Programs. Accessories. Just the usual. Oh. oh. Games. Facts. Multimedia. System tools. Oh, AOL. Hmm. Pretty much everything. Let's go to the prehistoric control panel.
that's all for now.